you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Thursday, and we are talking about accepting blessings. Um, I know that's something that I struggle with and I have a hard time with. Um, it's a lesson that my ancestors and guys are always trying to work with me on. Um, so I wanted to talk more into detail about that and actually share what they told me with you. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, cause if you get anything out of this content, chances are someone else will as well. Um, also check out the link below for Young Living. They are an essential oil company, the best in the business in my opinion. Um, they do not sponsor me, but I am a distributor for them. So you can get your essential oil needs such as like this kit here, um, that they sell on there with the everyday oils that you can use in your cooking for aromatherapy, even some for other ailments that you may have that you can put on a carrier oil to help um, alleviate some pain and things like that. Um, also, I'm not a big promoter of myself, <laughs> which is what we talked about today. Um, but this is my book tease collection. It is available on Amazon. The link for that is also below. So check that out and let's get started. So do you have a hard time accepting gifts from other people or accepting things when somebody else does for you. I know I do. I, I struggle with that really, really bad. Um, and the reason that it's a problem is because when you you give to other people, you, you, you give to somebody else that's in need, that it feels good for you. And you feel like you are blessing that person. And because you are blessing that person, you'll get those blessings as well. But sometimes we forget that it works in the reverse as well. When other people do for you, they get blessings for doing for you as well. And it's not something, I'm not telling you people to go out there and do it on purpose because it's something that has to be genuine that naturally comes from your heart. You have to be in a good place of unselfishness, okay? A good place of gratitude, thankfulness, giving when you do this. You don't do this expecting something to be done or something to be given in the turn or any accolades. You do it because it's just in you to do. It's something that you want to do, you desire to do, and so you do it. And that's how I am. Anytime I do for something for somebody, I never expect anything else in return. I don't. I do it just because it's in me to do. I'm, it's available for me. I can help. I'm a help. That's just how it is. Um, and then when it comes down to people wanting to return that to me, that's where I have the problem. So I had a friend, <laughs> which is why I mentioned a book. So she wrote a book and I'm, I'm about to order her book. Um, I just wanted to make sure there was nothing else I needed from Amazon before I do it. So I'm about to order her book, um, which is a good book. I don't have my phone in here. Yes, I do. I can share that with you guys. So... I told her, you know, I let her know that I want to order her book um, and that, I, you know, she's telling me all these other things that she's doing and we get to talking about writing and I mentioned the fact that I wrote a book and she was like, oh, well, you know, what is it? I'll get it. It's called The Shadow in My Eyes by Deborah Rose. Um, I'll see if I can put the link down below for that as well. So I'm sitting here like ready to support her and everything and she's like, okay, well, I'll get your book and I'm like, well, I can just send it to you. You know, you don't have to buy it. She's like, no, but I want to support you. I'm like, okay, but you know you don't have to, you know? <laughs> and she's like, well, we can put this in the group and other people will, will be willing to support you as well. And I'm like, uh, we don't have to do all of that. Like, it really makes me uncomfortable. I really feel uncomfortable when people want to do for me because I'm not used to it. I'm the one that does for other people. I'm the one that give to other people. People don't do that. They don't return that to me. And so in, when in the instances that it does happen, I don't know how to take it. I don't know how to accept it. And when I end up in these situations, I can hear my ancestors. I, I hear them so clear, like don't block that person's blessing. And so I'm trying to get used to it. I'm trying to get more comfortable with it because I also don't want to block, block somebody else's blessing. They're doing for me out of the kindness of their heart. And I don't want to block any good goodness or good wills or blessings or whatever you want to call it that they would get in doing that for me. Um, I had another friend, which is part of my family now, <laughs> who gifted me with something. And when I tell y'all I cried, <laughs> um, I feel teary eyed right now because it was so unexpected and I didn't say anything to her for it, but she did it for me anyway. And I really had to take a moment to go meditate because of how emotional I was getting from it because I'm not used to people doing for me. 
And one of the things when I was meditating, not my ancestors said, y'all see, I'm telling y'all, <laughs> y'all don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cry baby. I cry, I cry over everything <laughs> all the time. But, um, one of the things that my ancestors told me as well, in addition to blocking somebody else's, um, gifts that they give you, blocking somebody else's blessings. Um, in addition to that, you are set on a path. And on that path, you're going to have people that are going to help you along the way. And these people were placed there and put there for a reason and on purpose to help you get to where it is you need to, to get to, to do what it is that you came here to do or need to do. So that goes back to the soul purpose versus life purpose. So these people were placed on your path and in your in on your road for your life purpose and to help you along that way. And that part makes me emotional too. <laughs> I'm telling you, I cry all the time. Y'all just don't know. So if you want to correlate it, you know, I like giving analogies. So the analogy that I will give for this is, is movie. I'm going to go to movies. So like The Wizard of Oz, because of my mentorship, The Wizard of Oz is a movie that came up quite often. <laughs> and so in the movie, The Wizard of Oz, you had Dorothy on this brick road. Um, end up in this land that she never knew. So she had people all along that were there to help her get to where she needed to be in the end of the movie. So it started with the the Glenda the Good Witch. From there, went to the Mumpskins. From there, you end up with Scarecrow. From there, you end up with the Tin Man. From there, you ended up with the, the Lion, okay? And all along, throughout this whole ride, you had Toto. So... And as far as what I'm talking about today, Toto will be those ancestors, your spirit guides, God, Yahweh, Allah, whatever you want to call it. That would be Toto. Toto right there with you all along the road and Toto guiding you because it was Toto that went over there to the scarecrow, you know, that stopped and barked at it. It was Toto that, you know, helped her see the, the, the 10 men, you know, so you have all these things. Toto was the one who helped her with um, get out the thing, get the lion and the scarecrow and the 10 men to get her out the witch's castle. So you have this, this entity these 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 spirits these guys that are helping you to get to where you need to go to help you out of trouble to help guide you and to bring the people that you need in your life to you to help you get to where it is you need to go y'all i'm still whew, to help you get to where it is you need to go so even if we were to use a different movie let's go with lord of the rings most people know lord of the rings Frodo wouldn't have, Frodo would have died as soon as he got out of uh, the Hobbiton. What is it called? Um, the Shire. Frodo would have died the second he got out of out of the Shire. If it wasn't for Sam, it wasn't for Pippin, it wasn't for um, the other one whose name I can't think of, and Gandalf. And then to, he they he got along with the whole this whole crew that was supposed to go with him and protect him. Okay, along his journeys for him to get to where he need. He would have been dead the moment he got out the Shire if it wasn't for that. And in that movie, if you want to say as far as your guys and your ancestors and stuff, that would have been Sam. Sam was there from the very beginning to the very end. Sam would have been the one that would have been your ancestors. You know, you can look at Harry Potter. Okay, Harry Potter, same thing. You had Ron, Hermione, you had Hagrid, you had like all these characters helping, all these people put in, in Harry's life to help him get to where it is he needs to go. All in the end to where he needs to be in the end to have that final fight that he needed to have. And our lives are no different. Our lives are no different. You have your guys, you have your ancestors that work with you all the way. Through the very beginning from the from before you are even born, they're there helping you. Okay, guiding you, getting you ready to get to where you need to go. And in on that path and in that journey, you're gonna come across people who are going to help you on your path. And that might be somebody that just shows up for a second for a few words, as well as or somebody who gives you a gift that brings a tear to your eyes. <laughs> you know, you're gonna have all kinds of people come into your life. And go on this journey with you, whether they're there for two seconds or two decades. They're going to be there to help you get to where you need to go in the end. And so when you have somebody coming to give you a blessing, you have somebody wanting to give you with something or help you with something, accept it. No ifs, ands, or buts, just accept it. 
And I'm not just speaking to the choir. I'm speaking to myself as well. Because I, like I said, I struggle with this. I struggle. I told y'all this lady gave me this gift. It was, it was a class that I wanted to take and I've been wanting to take for a long time. And she gifted me the class. And I cried. I cried for a good minute over that. Because part of me wanted to, to tell her no. But at the second time, so uh, the other hand, I could hear my ancestors telling me, don't you dare do that. Don't you dare do that. Don't block her blessing. And besides, we put her in the path to help you. So take the help. You know, so your ancestors might not be as rough as mine, but they, they do what you need to do. Like I have a friend, her ancestors, they're so nurturing and they talk to her so nice and they guide her easy. Me, no. They just as blunt, <laughs> harsh, hardcore, just like me. Like um, I said no. <laughs> just like me. But that's what I need. She needs the nurturing part. I need that tough love. <laughs> okay. So that's what they give me. And they told me, don't you dare do that. Don't you dare do that. Because her blessing is going to help me get to where they need me to be to do what I need to do for the masses, basically, um, or for a large group of people. Because the things that they have planned for me is it will help a lot of people. And so, take your blessings. Take your blessings. Instead of being so quick to say no and denying something, just if you don't do it for yourself, at least do it for the other person. Let them have their blessings. If you want to tell them that you know you don't have to do this and they say, yeah, I know that, but still I'm doing it anyway, let that be your piece. Let that statement be your piece. Letting them know that they don't have to do it. And if they choose to do it, then accept it because that means it was needed. That means that somebody higher than you, somebody who can see a lot better than you can on what's on your road and what is to come, has put that person in your life and on your path to give you what they're what they're trying to give you so accept it take it say thank you and thank your ancestors thank your god thank you the entities your spirit guides whatever you want to call it thank them as well because in the end it's all for the benefit the benefit and the betterment of yourself so learn to be grateful learn to be accepting as much as you are giving so that's the message, not only for you, but for me too, <laughs> for today. Um, and it's funny too, because today is my birthday. It's Thursday, so it's my birthday. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> um, but whatever it is, it's going to be a day of acceptance. And I'm just, I'm really just going to take whatever comes to me. So I love you. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.